On Saturday, March 14, 2020, St. Lucia recorded a second case of COVID-19. The patient is a 53-year-old male with an active travel history, with France being his last port of departure. The patient arrived in St. Lucia on Wednesday, March 11, 2020, in the company of colleagues. He entered into our healthcare system on Friday, March 13, 2020, and based on the patient's travel history and symptoms, health professionals suspected COVID-19. He was placed in isolation at a medical facility and a sample was collected on the same day and sent to the Caribbean Public Health Agency, where laboratory tests confirmed the positive result. The patient and his care team have been informed of the result. To date, this now brings the total number of COVID-19 cases recorded in St. Lucia to two. The first case was diagnosed one day prior on Friday, March 13, 2020. A team was dispatched to conduct contact tracing and quarantine of contacts of the patient. This is being done to ensure that all patients who have been in contact with this individual is assessed and managed as per protocol. The Department of Health reminds the public that there is currently no vaccine against the virus. Prevention is our most effective strategy against the spread of COVID-19. The public is asked to practice the infection prevention control measures we have been promoting as this is key in reducing the spread of the virus. These include frequently washing your hands with soap and flowing water or when hand washing is not possible to use alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Cover your cough and sneeze with tissue and immediately throw the tissue into a bin and wash your hands. If you have a fever, cough and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early and share any previous travel history with your healthcare provider. The Department of Health and Wellness, we assure the public that we are continuing focus efforts in implementing the National Coronavirus Plan. We appeal to you to remain calm and to follow the advisories as we provide, as we work together to maintain the health and safety of all.